Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel and it's time for me to have a little look back over 2017 and pick out five of my favourite moments of the year. Now moment number one, I'm going right back to January, an away day to Anfield with Wolves winning 2-1 in the FA Cup against Liverpool. Uh, a game which I've looked back on recently and it really reignited my passion and my love for the Wolves. Last season and the season before that I wasn't able to go to many games at all because I lived in South Wales. However I made the journey up for that game in particular and with the just the spectacular nature of the win and Stearman's early goal, Weiman's breakaway goal, Costa's unbelievable individual performance and nearly scoring one of the goals of the FA Cup ever uh, with his run the length of the pitch in the first half. And then the heroic defending in the second half as well with Harry Burgoyne, the young teenager making his one of his early appearances for Wolves, playing really, really well. And coming away with that victory just made me fall in love with the Wolves again. It really did spark imagination of winning cups and winning trophies and progressing and growing as a football club and I'm sure that it did the same for Fosun as well. My second favourite moment of the year is the appointment of Nuno as our manager. Now I didn't know a lot about him before his appointment because I don't really follow European football a lot uh, but reading up on him before he came and particularly what he did at Rio Ave uh, resonated with me more because we're the same sort of club as them, similar sort of uh, stature in the world game and things like that and you just think okay that was good but then he went on to do Valencia and Porto as well and you think okay he's got something then he but just the way that he's come in and the way that he's sparked this revolution at Molyneux with his style of play he came in unlike other managers we've had in the past he came in knowing exactly what he wanted to do the formation that he wanted to play and the style of football that he wanted to play he's come in he's brought the players in to be able to do that and then we've reaped the rewards then of that as well. I also really, really, really like the way that he speaks off the pitch before and after games. It's very much a learning sort of process and I've, I really have been inspired by the way that he looks at the, the uh, games. He's also, it seems as if he watches the same game as us, which is, has not been the case in pre under previous managers. At the beginning of the season, if you remember, we had a problem with defending set pieces and that has now been put right. Uh, I think now at the moment we need to be a little bit more clinical up front and I'm sure that he well, he has mentioned that in the last couple of games and that will be something that they're working on now in training and hopefully we'll re reap the rewards of that in the next few weeks. But when he came in he brought his own staff in which I think was really important. We hadn't seen an overhaul like that for many many years at the club and with staff who'd been there since Mick McCarthy and even longer than that some in some cases uh, it was great to have a fresh start under Nuno and I think that is an, another key factor to, behind our success so far this season. My third moment of 2017 was the summer transfer window uh, I think as a Wolves fan we haven't had the sort of excitement that we had last summer b between the middle of June and middle of July ever before uh, particularly with some of the names that we were linked with and then the the week in particular where we were looking like we were going to sign Ruben Neves and then eventually did sign Ruben Neves was just unbelievable. The transfer fee that was being touted is something that we are not used to as Wolves fans and then the wages and then the calibre of player as well that we were linked with. Somebody who had been so highly thought of at Porto, a top European club and had captained them in the Champions League and had played regularly for them. For us to be able to pinch him was an unbelievable uh, signing for us and then players like Jota who at the time I didn't I don't remember there being a lot of fuss about him because he was coming in on loan but Willie Bolly as well the same sort of thing uh, just these names you know and now similar things happening again coming up to the January transfer window hopefully we will bring in another striker that we need and a right back that we need and be able to build on the great start that we've had to this season and if we were to get promoted I am a little bit scared about who we would be able to go out and sign because it's been ridiculed a lot in the press with uh, our links with George Mendes and these loan players that keep coming in but I don't think we've uh, abused any sort of system uh, I think it's been done before with Watford who bring who brought in a load of uh, loan players a few years ago and got promoted I think that we're finally catching up to what modern football is like and we are doing very very well as a result of it. I think if any other team had George Mendes at their disposal like we do then they would be using him of course and 
luckily for us, we're linked now with the most powerful agent in European football and I think as a Premier League prospect, I think even now in January, top of the league and playing so well and with the players we've already got, I think it's a very, very attractive offer to some young foreign players coming into the to, the, to English football. Moment number four of 2017 for me has been since August to present uh, is the all of the away games that I've been to. I've only m missed two games all season so far. I made the decision back in May to change my life and to, to move back to Wolverhampton and I've honestly have not regretted a single minute of it. It's been a fantastic journey following the Wolves around and becoming part of that Wolves family again uh, and I've seen some fantastic performances and some, you know, Stars have aligned so that I've been able to come back at this point and witness what has gone on. But games like Derby, I've seen we've seen over the last few years as really struggling there. Reading grinding out a the result there, and John Ruddy having the game of his life. Man City, we've seen Man City blow away so many teams this season, and to still now be the only team to have stopped Man City scoring is something that I'm really, really pleased about. And the fact that I was there was amazing. I wouldn't have been able to be there before. Also, games like Hull and Burton, not particularly glamorous places to go to but to go and get big wins there throughout this season is, has been fantastic. I set myself a little target at the start of the season to go to 40 games. I've already been to 24 I think uh, so hopefully I'll be able to, to reach that target soon and witness uh, or continue to witness the football and the success of the Wolves this season. And my final moment of the year is the position that we're in at the moment, top of the top of the championship. If you'd have offered us this a year ago, we'd have absolutely bitten your hands off. We were in the bottom third of the division. We were not doing particularly well. We had Paul Lambert, an uninspiring choice as a manager, I think a safe choice, somebody who would probably keep us up, which he did, uh, but not take us any further. And to flip that round now and to be the fastest team to ever get to 50 points, to have won so many games, to have such a strong defence, to have kept the most clean sheets in English football, to be scoring goals, not quite in the last three games, but before that, quite free-flowing and open football, um, and to just be in control of so many football matches, even when we've seen Wolves get promoted in the past, in 2014 from League One and from in 2009 into the Premier League from the Championship. We haven't seen a Wolves team be this dominant for this long. And at the moment, at the time of speaking, I can't see it ending. I can see us getting better with a few additions to the squad in the January transfer window and continuing to play in a better way throughout the season. It's going to be the best second half to a season, I think, that we've ever seen. I was a little bit worried at the start of the season with it being such a drastic change behind the scenes with all staff going but everybody is bought into the system and into Nuno. I've never known the Wolves fans to buy into a manager's philosophy and into a manager so quickly uh, which shows that he is a great manager and he is a great coach and his backroom staff as well are fantastic but all you know the medical side of it everything seems to be coming together really really well and we're starting to look like a Premier League outfit at the moment. And we've had all sorts of different plaudits from managers and from uh, pundits across the country throughout the season so far. And I can only see that continuing. And I just hope that we don't become complacent as the rest of the season goes on. And we should be sitting here in May talking about promotion to the Premier League. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content as this Christmas period goes on. We've got a little bit more spare time, so should be able to produce a few more videos for you in the next few weeks. Let me know your favourite moments of the year below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.